All right, so we have an outlet and a switch. An outlet and an outlet cover, excuse me. <laughs> We're obviously replacing them with white. There's one there, there's one there. There was one there for the AC, but down the road, <clears throat> I could always put one there because below us is the garage. There is obviously one there, one there. This gets a fan light combo because there's three wires in it. That's something that I'd have to worry about when I go to Lowe's. And then there's this. This gets obviously installed. And I like to I make sure it's all prepped already. It's obviously just in the back so it doesn't get painted. I'll pull it out with my tools, neutral to neutral. And then I installed this in the closet. Nice reveal, 60 watts, and that's it. Then I'll go up in the attic, and I'm gonna tackle that today. <clears throat> and that's it, so here's the neutral in the back. Here's the hot wire, essentially, and here's the switch leg. That stuff gets hooked up. All right, so what I'll do real quick is pretend, uh, you know, this, I'll make a quick video on how to remove an outlet and how to change an outlet. Okay, so I uh, stand by. All right, everybody, I shut the power off, but sometimes I do this actually alive. When I take a, my uh, screwdriver and I like to just take it out, you poke it out, you let it pull it. This is all dead. Okay, pull it all out. This is not a bad outlet. We're just not using this color anymore. So whether it was alive or dead, I'd still be doing it the same way. Flathead, open up the wires. So now we can do a couple of things. This is a 20 amp line. So I think what happened was they got a little crazy up in the attic. So I have to pretty much see what kind of where this line stops eventually. Meaning that it's a 20 amp circuit in the panel in the garage, but it's it's 15 amps. I'm sorry, there's 14 wire. Oh, Jesus, coming off of it somewhere else. So they had good intentions. This is why this fucking stupid ass wire. This is why you kind of shut things off. And nobody makes shit long anymore. This is stupid. They make it so like you can never. They make things so you can like never take things off, however many days. Obviously, decor wasn't invented till a certain time. So there's no reason why you should be fighting this thing. Okay. And this is what I'm saying. The, the hot wire is 20 amps. And the fucking gr the neutral wire is, is, is 15 amps. I'm telling you, it's a smaller gauge. I'm looking at it right now. So it's not even wired correct. When did they, what error did they do that where the neutral was a lower gauge? Really? The neutral was a lower gauge. I like to just straighten all my wires out. Sometimes the neutral is actually still hot because of the fucking. It's the way it is. So I got 20 amps coming up here. So at some point, somebody decided to run 14 wire down to all these switches and outlets. Which means now, as an old electrician, I'd have to take a 15 amp circuit breaker. And basically wire that up. So I'll just take all the schmutz out. Let me see if this outlet in the Excuse me, let me see if this outlet in the bathroom works. Oh, it 
does. So let me just get the shot back. Just try to bang this out without bothering you. Just want to clean this up. One second, hold your ears. Get some extra, some extra schmutz, some extra wire, some paper. Don't really want paper back anymore. So I guess as I'm videotaping this, or as I come across it, I'll just remember where the 14 wire is, because obviously somebody didn't realize, as the electricians or friendly friends or people were traveling through the house, oh, let me add this, let me add that. You were shutting off a 20 amp circuit breaker in the garage. So at what point did you realize, well, was, you know, is the circuit breaker wrong or is the wiring wrong? Well, let me tell you a little secret. Right now, this wiring is 20 amp rated. So, As long as this, these outlets are 20 amps and, I, and, and I, as I go through all the bedrooms and then if it gets into the attic when it's 15, then that means somebody didn't do their fucking job, as always, and basically turn around and just say, oh, let me just get it done. So, you know, there's a couple of 15 amp wires on a 20 amp circuit breaker, right? So that's never going to trip. That's, that's, that's never going to trip. This is going to just, you know, the 15 amp wire, in theory, the 15 amp wire would cook before it even trips because it's, at, it's set to a higher gauge. So we got the hot and hot. Ah, pinky hurts. Hot and hot. Now what I should do, I'm kind of being stupid, is I should just tie these together. And because if I ever have to change the outlet, I have to disrupt the circuit. So I should be, which I'm not, is splicing them. Which then you turn around and you say, well, I know what circuit breaker it is. You know, I should be splicing them. And what I should be doing is placing it, uh, you know, like a pigtail on them because what I could do is now disconnect it at a certain time at place and say, oh, okay, and you, don't, you do not disrupt the circuit. But I'm not. As an electrician, you could do that, but now, you know, if I was to like take this out a little off, or if I had to break it in some way, I would break the circuit. We don't need a ground because there is no ground. It's a little piece of wire in there. This is how to change an outlet on an existing. This is what it did. So it comes from the top. So I like to push it down. Ah. Ah. I like to push it down. And then I like to fold them up. Hopefully you're getting all this. Ah push it in now it's a metal box you could technically tape it um, I'm not taping it because the outlet is currently off and it's not gonna short out but normally what it would do is you could push it in and then it short out that would have shorted out if it was live so kind of little 
screws at a time. I didn't have to buy these. These are from my my stock. We'll go a little bit at a time, and then you <clears throat> twist it so it's flat. Try to center it. Take the outlet out. Try to see if that's the way you like it. A little bit flush. That looks good to me. It already has the screws on it. Sometimes it pulls out a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't. So this is where it's tight. So this way I know that I touched it. I like to just back it off. And the screws go up and down. This is where it's tight. And I could get it maybe just a little bit so it doesn't break. And then you take your thing, you look. Maybe a little bit lost, a little bit right. This is good, see? This is perfect. All right, I'm gonna continue on, and uh, this is, that's how XJ81X installs a door, uh, white decor outlet. I will be uh, continuing on around the bedroom. Uh, will not bore you with the details. We're at 10 minutes already. I will continue to go to there, to, to there, to there, and then obviously just in cold, install a regular switch. And then I'll go into the attic and maybe give you a little bit snippet on that. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a split second. <laughs> Take care.